Apple has finally modernized the way your Mac looks. Their new operating system called Yosemite is in the hands of beta testers, and I tried it out too to see what's new. The first thing you notice is that everything's much flatter, like on the iPhone and iPad. Icons have been redesigned, the 3D dock is history, and all Apple-made apps have been visually rebuilt. And the system font has changed to Helvetica Noia, just like the iPhone. There's also a bunch of cool new features packed into Yosemite. That little green button that used to give Windows a best fit for your display now takes that window full instead. Spotlight's in the middle now and searches way more than just your hard drive. It also looks for stuff on the web and gives you brief information about topics when it can. So if I search for Transformers, it already knows where it's playing near me and when, and tells me all about the movie. I'm not a huge Safari user myself, but I might soon be because this new version is the fastest web browser I've ever used. It's also very light, with a no frills, super thin toolbar and favorites built right into the address bar. On the right, notifications have been joined by a new Today tab where you can install and organize widgets like calculator, calendar, weather and stocks. They're clearly trying to eventually replace the dashboard, which is a feature I love and I don't think it's ready for that yet. The Mail app has a couple of visual tweaks, but the markup feature is the new big star. When you're sending PDFs and images, you can take a little pen and write all over it to highlight certain parts or sign documents. But you can only use it when you're sending a message out. And when I tested it, it was a little more wonky than I'd like. One feature I haven't been able to test yet because it's only in the final release is called Continuity and it's supposed to let you seamlessly work on tasks between your Apple devices. That's great if you're an all Apple all the time type, but if you mix up your devices, this feature is gonna be useless to you. Yosemite's a bold step forward in many ways, and when the final release comes out in the fall, it really will be well worth your free download.